gentlemen, welcome to the Antelope Valley Fair Demolition Derby. Here See, we are. We're, we're here live. Live. Even though you're watching this tape delay. I wonder how that works. Low budget. Or our feed is just very slow. This is 29 Cars Demolition Derby action out here. Main event. The crowd is stomping on the grandstand. Bad to the bonus plane. We, we are, are getting ready for Demolition Derby. Away, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to stretch up, everybody get, get on your feet. Hammer. Here we go! Five! Four! Three! Two! One! Go! Well, there's so much we got big hits right away. And one of the biggest hits was an L Lab. Do you notice that big crack? On the 84. Yeah, we do. Now there's a fire at the zero one. Fire at the zero one. That'll 
red flag here, man. Red flag, red flag. Yeah. Is the radiator disabled? Or was that the fire extinguisher? I have no idea. Yeah, he 
these cars already hit now. That's going to be good. In. Now we're getting the good guys going after the but good ones. The 18 car is starting to prove to be somebody to watch tonight. Stand and and 32. Okay, 
It looks like we have three cars that are really still running. <laughs> uh, John Porter not thinking he's going to be able to get in there. Hey, where is the 50 stick? Right in the corner. Stan McDonald's trying to make his way around and get out. Oh, well, they might have to get out of the right now. Or they're going to loosen them up. And I think they just unhooked it. Wow. Now remember, you can't push somebody out of the arena. You can't be fueled that way. Definitely got disqualified, but I don't know which other car. Is. I well, I think he said the 5150, yeah. but I don't know why. Because he had a good hit. Don't let them start them. Hey, hey, we'll probably be able to hear the competition though. And that is David Smith. Sounds like they just fought by both of our camera cars. Three good cars. Now they're telling Piano, I guess. Dan, do you want to keep racing or no? And remember, with three cars, they can hear you, so the more noise you make, the harder they'll hit. Well, he's. Yeah, understandably. Motors off, Don. Uh, we have three. There's Stan McDonald going too. So Stan's in. Oh, that's okay. That's the five. Stan's in the 707. The 18 and the 21. And the 21 is stuck. 21 car got a little traction problem right now. And we have two that can go at it. This might be and hopefully somebody will bump the 21 and get him going. But right now it is Stan McDonald and David Smith. What a pair. I think McDonald was trying to run Smith out of the field. Remember, if he gets all four tires out of that burn, he's done it. They're playing your front. They're playing your yeah, the front. You're kidding, kidding, kidding. Yeah, they're dueling right now. Playing the game. Hey, tell me what they're doing. What the hell? Is there be the whole finish, ladies and gentlemen. This right here is two of the best demolition derby drivers in the West Coast. And they're up against each other here. And what you're watching is a game called Demolition Derby. 21. That is the Demolition Derby showing you how to somebody. Good side by side! Stan has got a good shot if he can get a run out of now. Getting him ever so close to that burn. But I don't think he wants to let David Smith get anywhere loose on him. Because Smith will turn that thing around and hit him with the front end. There we go. Okay, here we go. No. That no, station wagon like a little bit heavier than that seat okay. end. Yep. Oh, David had to be wise and get out of it, and he did Finally, do that. Two drivers that aren't teaming up with the Indian Two guys are going steady. He's got McDonald pumped up against one of the cars. Now he's got the rear end to the right side. How many Fenty 18s going to win? How many 
same thing, it's going to be that big old Jet Airliner 707 Stan McDonald. tonight out here Antelope Valley Demolition Derby your number 18 Dave Smith you know theoretically the Smith team is two for two Tammy won it in Orange County you won it right here Antelope Valley that's right actually the car that Tammy went with in Orange County is this car um what happened down below I broke all my trailering arms <laughs> everything is broke underneath it's the it's ready to come out <laughs> and um, but uh, man, I tell you, this is one fun track to drive on. That is, that track's huge. It's just mammoth. There was a lot of cars out there. It was fun. Plenty of targets to hit. It's absolutely a fantastic. Probably one of my funnest derbies. Almost 30 cars out here. Now Orange County had 10. You had a fun time there. But man, like you said, this track they water it down, but it dries up quick, and it's you. You just go ballistic out here. Oh, you absolutely go ballistic. I mean, you can absolutely flat out fly on this track. Now, leading into the final group of cards that you're dealing with, mm -hmm. which one do you think posed the biggest threat besides your ultimate competitor, Stan McDonald in 707? Um, actually, um, I was kind of thinking those white Chryslers, the Superman car and the Flash Gordon car. I thought those was uh, some pretty good cars, and... Uh, and I, um, I jumped on him pretty quick. I got the one out right away, and then I jumped on the Superman car. And we got rid of him, too. So 
we just had to take the shots when we took it. Very good. Oh, go ahead. And, uh, you know, hope, hope for the best. It's a demolition derby. I mean, you're out there wrecking cars. And, you know, I think of anybody in the pits, you had a pretty good crew chief, if you will. Oh, yeah. Billy, Billy Big Time. Billy Big Time, buddy. That's it. That's right. That's right. That's my crew chief. That's my crew chief. Hey, you know what? His favorite, his favorite driver in the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series yeah. is trying to go for yeah. six championships. Yeah. You've won plenty of trophies in your day. What was the biggest advice for him? Uh, hey, David Jay's uh, really talented. That's the guy who first got me started in the business, and he took some manhood away out there. There were some guys out there, and he took their man card and ripped it up and threw it down. But, hey, David Jay is a, a smart guy, great equipment, and best of all, a great guy. And a tribute to the sport. You can't get a better guy than that guy. David J. Smith. Well, no, you can get Bill Thiebert, and that, that's a close. He's as good as me or better, buddy. That's yeah. a great guy right there. One of the things we're watching right at the end, the two of the, two of the greatest West Coast guys out here running Demolition Derby, battle at the end. I mean, it was mano y mano. It was. Um, what a lot of people don't know is Stan and I are both from Ohio originally, and uh, we derby back there also, and uh, we're both from Ohio. And what a lot of the... I'm going to go ahead and let the cat out of the bag. Uh, at Orange County, when this car won and the wagon that was second, that's that wagon. Really? Yeah, he borrowed my car. Wow. So So, so I knew I had a good car I had to beat. <laughs> How about that? Well, anybody you got to thank? We're, we're connected to your trophy. Nice trophy, by the actually, way. Um, actually, yeah, I'd like to thank uh, Bill Thieber for uh, always being there for me and helping me out. He come and towed the car up for me tonight. My wife over there, Tammy Kalb, the Orange County champion right there she uh we want to thank her and um you know just everybody that enables us to be able to do this everlast home energy solutions and um you know and a uh, uh, power star home energy solutions it enables us to do this where's the next one at next one for me is going to probably be labor day in ohio so possibly <laughs> Tra traveling man pomona Pomona. For me, yeah, that's, be Pomona. We're going to try to break her trophy. Yeah, it's all right. No, but right. that would not be good. Right. Dave Smith, everybody, number 18, your winner tonight, Antelope Valley. Congratulations. Thank you, guys. Well, that was certainly one happy Dave Smith in the winner's circle with his number 18 machine. But, Tommy, one thing we need to cover are a couple of disqualifications. Early on, the number 56 of Ken Metz pulled out because of what was said to be a door hit. But I want to ask you, you saw from the onboard footage, what did it look like to you? It looked like the officials made a bad call, but heat of the moment, it's, you know, I, we saw it at a bad angle too, so we weren't sure the onboard camera did show that was a wheel shot. Yep, so that's one thing in demolition derbies. If you're going to make a call, you have to be sure of it. Also, two guys that also were pulled out, and you saw this near the end of everything. The 5150, Brian Horton, and the number 07, Matt McDonald, pulled out because they were said to have hit too hard in a demolition derby. Again, Tommy, your thoughts? And prayers go out to the cars that were involved. Well, John Carter, I think we have to give him the hardest hit award. There was certainly some heavy hitting there, but I don't know. There were three guys that all had to do with that heavy hits. And you know what, Tommy? Just great demolition derby. What a great one. We'll be back next year for Antelope Valley Demolition Derby Action 2013. Get your tickets now if they're available.